Greetings, Earthlings. Today we're going to create the train stack, smoke stack for the train and inventor ID project. And we've just created the train. Uh, I have not put holes in, in it or anything like that. Um, you can check another video for that if you want. So, what we're going to do is create a new part file. All right. We're going to create a new sketch. And then we'll get this set up, and then I'll show you the part we're trying to make. So here's the smokestack. This is a great half-section view. And what you're, you've got two options here. You can create this sketch, as they've shown you, and then revolve it. Uh, or you can create kind of a hybrid of that, which would be the sketch minus this counterboard hole through there. So I'm going to show you how to do both real quickly. Um, here we go. And... The first one, I'm not going to put any dimensions. I'm just going to draw this out the way I think it uh, kind of looks. We're going to come over, back down to here. All right. So that is the general shape. If you were to cut that in half, kind of a cross section of what half of it would look like. Um, and then obviously when you go to dimension it, I can throw some dimensions on here right quick, 0.25. Uh, this is, I'm going off memory here, but I think I'm pretty close. And this is supposed to be 1.5. This to the top is 1.75. Uh, we do know that this dimension from here to here, I believe is 0.625. Again, this gives you a general idea, and then this angle is 15 degrees. Okay, nice. So what we do once we have this shape is you're going to go ahead and revolve this shape. So let me finish the sketch, and then I'll revolve it. Whole shape. All it wants me to do is select the axis. All right, very good. And then you can go on top. Uh, we're going to do a counter bore hole, and they have given you all of the specifics for this counter bore hole. So the counter bore is 0.875, the depth is 0.375. All right, so here's all the dimensions. Um, let's go back to our drawing. We're going to put the counter bore hole in. Um, here it was. 0.375, if I'm not mistaken, maybe that's off. Hold on. Nope, 0.875, and the depth is 0.375. Okay. 0.875, the depth is 0.375. All right, and then the diameter of this one, and that's the actual hole. Keep putting extra decimals there. It's 0.375. And then the distance that we want this hole, uh, that is 1.5. All right, so we can just type in 1.5. And then we need to select here. Again, on concentric objects, you just click a reference edge, and it will center it up for you. Oh, that looks nice. All right, and there you have it. So that is option one on how to build this. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually delete this. Um, I don't want to delete the sketches. kind of like those sketches. And I do want to delete the hole. That's fine. I can delete that work plane as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this original sketch. Uh, we're going to do very similar things. The only difference is I'm going to put in up here about where I think... Um, the counter bore hole should be. So I'm going to do the same dimensions. The actual counter bore hole was 0.375 divided by 2. Okay. We know that the depth from the top all the way to here was 1.5. Oh my gosh, I got that just as good by guessing, I guess. Oh, it lined up at that point. Um, and then the counter bore was 0.875 divided by 2. Okay. So that looks good. We've got our degree in there still from our blueprints. Um, but we need to do the depth of the counter bore as well, 0.375. So that comes down to there. It seems way too deep. Is that right? 
uh, 0.875, 0.375, yep, that looks good. Okay. Hmm. Finish the sketch. Pardon me. Let me hit the revolve button. All we want to select is that, and then we select our axis, which is this, and we are good to go.